From crazy kart racing to nuclear war, here are the most insane Minecraft ideas you need to see. I mean, just look at this helpful little builder. Found near river dams, these beavers can be fed golden carrots to tame. And then, after copying a build with these special constructor blocks, they can be given resources to recreate that build wherever you want. hey oh, Cause why have just one house when you can have two? Hey, pal! We finished with that raceway you ordered! Huh? I didn't order a... Whoa! What is this? Looking like something straight out of Mario Kart and making for a fun way to compete with your friends, the Cubic Racers mod allows you to drive, drift, and glide through your own custom courses, even featuring these item boxes that, when driven into, can provide you with one of eight special items to help you turn the tide of any race. Ah, I hate turtles! <laughs> Oh no! A banana peel! <laughs> Ah, uh, tisk tisk. I'll bet that guy wishes he had one of these life-saving grapple chains. Cause great for traveling the overworld with both style and speed, these hooks would come in a variety of tiers, like the ender hook that provides almost instant movement, or the diamond hook, which can be fired off multiple times to suspend yourself in the air. Comes in real clutch when building high up in survival. Though, speaking of, while we've got game modes like survival, creative, and hardcore. What if Minecraft added a whole new way to play? Well, introducing the Reign of Nether mod. Changing Minecraft into a real-time strategy game, you can control groups of mobs to gather resources and build up an empire. Or if you wanted, you could actually choose to play as the bad guys. Controlling hordes of monsters to demolish any villagers that stand in your way. Ha 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 Wait, no, the villagers are beating me. <laughs> Eat it, loser. Your armies will never beat us. Oh, yeah? Well, then let's just summon a treeper. What? A tree? Are you serious? <laughs> now, these guys are a must find. As if hit with an axe, they have a chance to drop special pine cones that can be grown into these little troopers with anger issues. And any mob that dares target you will meet a swift and explosive end. Well, unless they hide in the water. Then, you'd want to get your hands on one of these new submarines. With these, water breathing potions would be a thing of the past. Though they could only be found in abandoned sea bases, they'd be incredible for underwater traversal and even allow you to fire off torpedoes to defend yourself from attack. Perfect for finding long lost pirate treasure. Haha, <laughs> uh, wait, since when do pirates have nuclear bombs? These are only supposed to be obtainable by braving new nuclear cave biomes and are extremely dangerous. Huh? Hey, what are you doing in my cave? Uh, I was just leaving, actually. <laughs> no one leaves alive. Wait, 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 wait. Uh oh, what have I done? Now, the throwable snowballs and potions have existed forever. Uh, but honestly, why can't other things be thrown too? We'd be able to give guests a taste of their own fiery medicine, or toss our tools around to break out of reach blocks. Better yet, even those blocks could be thrown in order to place them further away. With something like this, there would just be so many possibilities, especially when paired with these drip leaf launch pads. Because what would an update to Minecraft be without some new redstone goodies? Some used to fling mobs and items in any direction, while others could be used to automatically harvest and plant fully grown crops for you. Every farmer's dream! Ooh, I must have it! I mean, just look at all the wheat it got me already. Uh, wait. <laughs> mine! Mine! Hey! Little thief! Ugh, he might as well be a gingerbread man. Because hiding throughout new rare candy villages, these guys are not to be taken lightly. Nabbing stuff right out of your hot bar whenever they can. Thankfully, they can be distracted with music. Oh yeah, this beat is great. 
get stuck in a daze, they'll be unable to react to anything, even as you kill them off one by one. Have mercy! Ah! Oh, and I forgot they dropped these crumbs, which can be used to craft an oven that summons an infinite amount of the little guys, which gives me an idea. Ah, uh, finally home. Time to relax. What the? Ah! Now, while we've gone over some animation updates in the past, a simpler change that would make all the difference is the update of Minecraft's first person model. Now, you can see how you really look in game, from the armor you're wearing to the animations other players see, instead of the static display. Especially when paired with other mods like not enough animations and better combat, the difference in immersion is night and day, even when you're blasting off to space. Because nothing beats cruising up so high that you literally leave the overworld and enter the vast expanse of space. Here, anything you can see, you can fly to and land on. Like this barren planet with a space station. Oh man, did somebody beat me here? Aloha, bonks, and welcome to Carland! Uh, I'm leaving. Wait, no, come back! Nah, because I'd much rather talk about the battle allays. Uh, let's be honest, allays aren't always the most helpful. But that's where these guys come in. Defending their allies from the dangers of the overworld. It's great, because if you give some to the new allay keeper villager, they'll also protect villages from pillager raids. Huh, stupid pillagers! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, hey, I think that one decided to be an artist instead of a warrior. What you drawing, little buddy? Oh, uh, it's, um, beautiful. <laughs> now, another fun idea for Minecraft. These blackboards allow you to freely draw whatever you desire, using different dyes to achieve maximum artistry, which is both great when you want to take a break from all the mining and crafting, or just want to leave a silly little message for your friends. <laughs> Huh? Mad sucks. Who wrote this? <laughs> we love you, uh, Iron Golem! Yes! Uh, though villagers love them, I for one am tired of only having Iron Golems. Well, and Snow Golems. There are so many more Golems that are just waiting to be crafted. Like this, the Stonecutter Golem. Not only is it great for cutting down hostile mobs, but also for cutting different stone types. Even those placed around the overworld, which means with enough fuel, it might just be able to help you find all those rare diamonds you've been searching for. Ooh, and these ones are extra shiny. That's new. Now, the addition of new particles like these, while it may sound simple, is actually really cool. Just look at the trail of slime that guy is leaving behind. Or how peacefully the villagers sleep. <laughs> uh, subscribe to Dr. Bonks. Uh, is he dreaming about me? That's weird. I'm out of here. Oh, and when I sprint, it looks like I get dust clouds behind me, which pairs perfectly with the highway mod. An incredibly helpful idea, running on dirt paths makes you incredibly fast, giving the player speed too, which incentivizes you to create paths all throughout your worlds in order to get to things like the nearest village or stronghold in a flash. And, uh, we, what the heck are these things? They look just like me! Clocks! Clocks! Uh, I think they want clocks. Here? <laughs> Well, uh, more than a little unusual, these tiny players can be found randomly throughout the world and can be handed various items to, uh, uh, what do you guys do? We can sit on your shoulder. Uh, alrighty then. That's cool, I guess. Uh, great if you're ever feeling lonely in the mines. <laughs> ah, what the coral? All right, my coral army, destroy the boxes! Nah, we don't feel like it. Obey your man. I better put these diamonds somewhere Carl can't reach them. Somewhere like this locked chest. He'll never get them now. Uh, well, unless he picks the lock, which is very tricky and only gets harder to do the stronger the lock. How do you pick a lock like this? What? Uh, okay, but you'll never break this diamond lock. Ha 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 ha. Did it? What? And now, 
let's be honest. Uh, Minecraft's rails are fairly limited, but by simply placing two of the new track tie blocks and using a track item, smooth curved pathing becomes possible. A change that allows for cooler ways to travel over steep terrain or allows you to create entire working roller coasters. Ha <laughs> ha! Who wouldn't love this? Oh, oh boy! Oh no! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, hey! My crops are ready! Ah, <laughs> thank goodness for the crop marker mod. If I didn't have it telling me when my crops were fully grown, I'd probably forget to harvest them half the time. Let's see, carrots, potatoes, and beets. Perfect! Which just leaves... Yeah, yeah get it, bro! Oh, look, I can jump so high! Hey! Quit breaking all my wheat! No, bro! Turning on secure crops. Ha! There! I can't break anymore, bro! Oh no, bro! With this new game rule, you no longer have to worry about mobs trampling your goods, which makes farming a lot easier, especially with this other special mod, which lets you harvest crops without having to replant them. It saves a ton of time and makes it easier to feed all your new mounts! <laughs> yep. Now, finally, instead of just horses and, well, pigs, I guess, Outside of them, many more mobs would be rideable. And after crafting a Wrangler rod, you'd be able to experiment with each to test their special abilities. Like goats being able to ram through mobs when you blow a horn, or spiders being able to help you climb up any wall. Which is all helpful, but I gotta know. What about that woolly mammoth? Because these massive beasts have so much health that I bet they'd be perfect to ride on top of. I just have to figure out what they like to eat. We like pumpkins! Oh, yeah, that tracks. Here you go. Once tamed, these guys can be customized with different dyes. Meanwhile, their height and health will completely prevent mobs from being able to reach you. Ooh, let me up there so I can blow you up! Haha, <laughs> this is great! <sighs> Shame he's too big to fit through my teleporter, though, because this thing is too convenient not to use, allowing you to save locations that can later be teleported back to wherever you are and whenever you want. Now, I'm at my lab. Now, I'm at the beach. And now, I'm in an Illager mansion. Ah, who the heck are you? Oh, uh, just a guy testing interdimensional travel. <laughs> nice shelves, by the way. Oh, thanks. Uh, you know, I put a lot of hard work into them. It makes for a real cool way to display all your items around the place. Oh man, and you have a lot of totems. <laughs> yeah, I've been collecting them for years and uh... Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> I will never die! Not even if I happen to sink to the bottom of the ocean and come across the deadly mine guardian. Cause now when braving the ocean depths, you might just come across a field of these troublesome fellas. And though dangerous, you will actually want to swim through it because the chests found here are absolutely filled with rare goodies. Oh, nice. Uh oh, though if you get caught in one of the mine scanners, there's no saving you from being reduced to waterlogged ashes. Ah, oh, man. Well, I certainly prefer my ashes to be inside of this new Clayworks oven. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Ah! What I meant to say is that this new furnace block is amazing. Called the kiln, it allows you to smelt blocks at incredible speeds. Kinda like a smoker, but for builders instead of butchers. This mod even includes all new terracotta block variants, like stairs, bricks, and more, giving you way more to work with when building your next house. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that I don't want anyone going inside. Ned. Like I would ever want want to get inside your stupid house. Well, you can't anyway, thanks to these new netherite doors. They're so tough that they can't be broken and can only be opened with the use of this key, a key that Ned will never have. And this key can either be kept on your person or could be placed under one of the new doormat blocks. 
like so. Aside from holding items, these are great because they could be customized with different text to welcome visitors. That is, if the visitors actually see it, because cats also have a nasty habit of sitting right smack in the middle of them. Eh, oh well. Guess I have a guard cat now. Huh, my plan worked. Now, give me that key. Now, finally, I'll see what... Huh? Intruder! Abracadabra! Ah! I'm gingerbread! Ah! <laughs> now, like gingerbread men, the Licko Witch is another mob found in candy biomes. Though she's quite a bit more useful, because while braving her fiercely sweet attacks and climbing up this new witch tower structure, players have a chance to find the powerful Conversion Crucible item. When placed and interacted with, it allows you to completely change any biome into another. As as long as you feed it enough materials. It's incredibly useful, especially if you want these biomes for their rare mob spawns, like slimes or mushrooms. Although, once you're all stocked up, don't even think about putting your items in a chest. Because thanks to the decorative storage mod, there are now so many better ways to store stuff. From hanging stuff off the ceiling to barrels filled with food and trays filled with rare ore. They provide a great way to give your world a more personal touch or to just show off your many riches. Though it's not enough. I need more! Hello, sir! The pulley is now fully operational! Ah, excellent. <laughs> With this, all the world's diamonds will be mine! See, by simply turning this crank here, I'm able to lower the chains down until they connect to an ore. Then I can simply rotate it the other way to bring it right up to me. Much easier than going all the way down there and then coming all the way back up. What? But it's not even that far. Uh, well, I'm lazy. Th which is why I also crafted this airship so I don't have to walk anymore. Allowing you to dominate the skies, you'd first have to find some rare new ore to build one, though it's worth the effort, as these easy to control transports are super useful, especially for transporting large amounts of items from one place to another. Certainly better than using an elytra. <laughs> Don't ever take one into the nether, though, uh, because the ghasts will make sure you stay grounded. You know what's scarier than ghasts, though? These spooky doors uh, that you can uh, open as fast or as slow as you want. Not incredibly scary, aside from the unsettling creaking sounds. Uh, but I suppose it's more about what's on the other side that makes it scary. See, they're handy for peeking through to make sure there aren't any creepers waiting outside your base. Or for sneaking a peek at your friend's, um, uh, magical paradise? What in the... This must be the Magical Vibes mod. There are so many cool crystals and lights and books scattered everywhere. Certainly one of the best enchanting rooms I've ever seen. Welcome, Fongs! I've been expecting you! Uh, Carl? Uh, how did you know? My magic ball sees all! Ooh, hey, show me something cool! Uh, whoa, wait, is this Minecraft? Why is everything so flat? Oh, it's a 2D game now! Yet another cool game-changing way to play, this added game mode makes things super flat and limits how you move to replicate side-scrolling survival games, like Terraria. Though, whether building a house or exploring the deep dark, it definitely takes some getting used to. Honestly, still a blast though. Did someone say blast? Uh, nobody, I wasn't talking about you. Blast! Oh boy. Hey, stop, you're gonna burn down that village. Well, uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, we are so totally not fine. <laughs> well, uh, this hunk of metal is the blast furnace golem. Uh, though he can get a bit carried away, he really is quite handy at frying hostile mobs. And even better, he can make you rich by instantly smelting any raw materials you give it. And you can now get way more of the stuff too, thanks to the ore harvester mod. Instead of having to tediously mine and mine and mine every individual ore block, you could simply break one to have the whole vein collapse for easy collecting. Saves a 
a ton of time and can even be paired with the tree harvester mod to do the same for trees. Then you can spend more of your time building or adventuring. Oh, hey, finally, some diamonds for this tired old man. Oh, wait, no, Greg, don't! Here. Ah! Though you do need to be careful where you mine. However, if you fall, you'd have no problem getting back up with any of these beautiful new ladders. Finally, instead of one boring design, each one would have their own personality and style. I imagine shabby spruce ladders would be perfect for a treehouse, or mangrove ladders would make for a detailed new wall design. Warp ladders just look ugly though. I don't know who would ever use those. <laughs> Uh, Carl! I wouldn't place those there if I were you! Yeah, he's ruining our fortress! Get him, boys! Ah! Ooh, though while Carl's distracting them, I should try to steal some items with this thief's glove. When used, you can basically pickpocket any mob for a variety of goodies, sometimes even landing rare rewards. Haha, <laughs> like this totem! And now, I wonder what those guys will give me. You'll never get our cool loot! Run, boys! Oh yeah? You think your walls will stop me when I have this cannon? Ah, try it, nerd! Very well. See, once powered up with gunpowder and a cannonball, these new tools are perfect when you want to break some blocks. Oh, that actually didn't launch very far. <laughs> what a bonehead! Oh, uh, wait, I probably just need more gunpowder. And... Boom. Protect the ice cream! Ice cream? Whoa! And not just any ice cream. When eaten, this new food item can give you entirely new effects. Strawberry gives you an extra heart of health, while delicious banana cream lets you temporarily wall climb. Haha, <laughs> this is awesome! Ooh, but what does chocolate do? Wait, sugar rush? Oh, haha! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, I'm so fast! Look at me go! Ow! What the? Oh, who put this cool new lamppost here? Oh, oh, wow. There are actually new light blocks everywhere. Finally, because I'm sick of torches. And these all look so sleek while being really easy to turn off and on. Dang, with all these, I could light up the whole overworld. No hostile mob would ever be able to spawn again. Not even those uh, tiny zombies. Uh, what the heck, guys? Why are you so small? Hey, man, not cool. You don't see us asking why you're so big. Uh, fair enough. Though, why are you so big? So I can explode twice as hard. Uh -huh. Randomly, it seems that all mobs will now spawn with different sizes. With this mod, you could just stumble across a large chicken or a small ghast. I guess it makes the game a bit more unpredictable. Though, I never want to stumble across a bigger warden. Uh, hey, do you uh, want to watch that video? Do you want to kill me? Oh, man. Ah!